and it's my first time here. So I think I prepared this travel for many years. And when I studied in India, I tried to have find a chance to visit here. So Dhaka is very different from China, it's also very different from other countries in South Asia. So today, I want to share my understanding on BRI, specifically on its strategic significance. Frankly, I don't like my topic because I don't think BRI has so much strategic significance. Basically, BRI is an economic one. But this is one of the reasons why um, Malaysia's new prime minister um, accused the previous administration of selling sovereignty to China. One can argue about whether that was true or not, but it was a very widespread perception. It's a, it's a perception that's very widespread throughout Southeast Asia. The Myanmar government is said to have worries about its own deep water port project. One of their economic advisors has said that the ticket price of seven billion US dollars is crazy. The first suggestion build high level cooperative mechanism. We can handle it by those ways as follows. Firstly, build a high level coordinative mechanism to solve issues appealed in the cooperation process practically in order to promote mutual benefits, win-win situation and co-development. Secondly, build intergovernmental coordinative mechanism. The world is so big and the while the challenges are complicated, and the world is looking for answers from China. China should not keep so provide. And also, he says, China hope that when he visited, when President Xi visited uh, Mongolian, visiting uh, Korean, and uh, visiting the neighbor countries, he always say, China hope that China's development and and the latter of its neighbors will complement each other. And China welcome its neighbor to both the fast chain of China's development. Vietnam is also expected to observe the outcome of the other BRI projects in the region before committing itself. Coupled with its own financial difficulties, as well as thorny issues such as the South China Sea, it looks likely that the BRI will face significant challenges in Vietnam in, the, in time to come. So what are the contradictions thereof? Because apparently, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, both BRI and these initiatives, regional cooperation initiatives, uh, have similar objectives. States will need to bend together and say, this is the way forward. Uh, we can't rely on India. Uh, and we have to, the other five or six states will have to come together. I think Pakistan has already started moving towards the Central Asian states and Turkey. Uh, the other states also need to do that. Rather than drawing up a conclusion, I'll ask uh, our President of Bangladesh Institute of Peace and Strategic Studies, General Munir Zaman, to make his concluding remarks to wind up the two-day seminar. One issue that kept coming back in our discussion was the notion of the debt trap that is being talked about everywhere. I very interestingly read a wide coverage in our newspapers this morning about the press conference. They elaborated at length about India's non-participation and why India is following that position. So the position of India vis-a-vis -vis BRI will continue to engage us in wide debates for the many coming years to come. <laughs>